Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this one, we're going to be building on top of two previous commands I've made, which is the uh, coin flip command and the dice roll command. Uh, quite a few people have been asking for these in the YouTube comments. Uh, people have been asking to for me to show how you would have a picture of heads. Um, whoops, how you'd have a picture of a coin on heads going along with this message and a picture of uh, coin with tails going along this message. So basically how you attach like image files from your computer into the uh, thing is basically what we're doing but it's for the sake of this command. And I'll also show in the dice roll how to make it so that we can change how many sides the die is on depending on what we type after the command. So you can put in like question mark roll 100 to do a 100 sided die. And then we'll also have it so that if they don't put anything it defaults to this and we'll have it so that if they put in a word or something incorrect, like invalid, will then take care of that too. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been away for the last uh, six days, five, six days, and I'm also going to be away for the next five or six days. I've got this like day off, so uh, I know I've left it quite late today. It's 10 o'clock, but I'm going to be doing this video for you. I don't want to leave like two weeks without a video. I want to get at least one out in between for you. Um, but yeah, I hope you can be patient. I'll get back to daily videos when I get back off my kind of holiday activity stuff next week uh, that I'm away on. But yeah, on Friday I'll be back. Friday the 3rd of August. So I think it's Friday 3rd of August. Yeah. Okay. Um, last thing I want to mention before I start is I have set up my Patreon. Obviously, if anyone's generous enough to donate and help with the channel with the daily uploads, then it would mean a lot. But I won't nag on with that. Just check out in the description if you want. But anyway, so what we want to do is we want to have a way of sending your coin land on, he land on heads and then a, a picture with it. And the things you're going to need for this is you're going to need a picture that you want to send, so that's up to you to find. And we're going to need a reference to it. So what we'll do is we can make a folder in here. So a new folder. We'll call it uh, coin picks. Just a folder in here. And if I go to my downloads folder, I in amongst all this weeb music. I have these two pictures that I'm going to put in here. Uh, and here we have coin, head and tails. There's two pictures, two JPEGs. Okay. And they're in this folder. Now in the coin flip here, after we sent our message, we want to send something else. So we'll do comma after the string, but inside the brackets. We want to send a file. And if you want to send a file, you would write inside squiggly brackets, you write files, colon, and then you do inside square brackets you do the file path. Now there's global file paths and local file paths so let's say I wanted a global file path to this uh, folder where we're working on. I would click here just on the white space and then you get this. Here you go. F drive my disco bot file tutorial bot file. Here we are. If I go inside commands to here to here here's the thing. The problem with this is if I just input this as our file path if I then gave this um, like bot to someone else to use, or like I, you know, put the code open source, it wouldn't work for anyone else because the reference to the file wouldn't be the same because on a different computer and so on, it's all laid out differently. So you want to use local files, which basically are dynamic to the point where, regardless of what system you're using it on, if you give it to someone else, it's going to run the same and find the files. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to say. We want to make a string here of like our file path, so it might be like something, comma, something, well I meant dash, but yeah. Now at the root of it we want to get heads.jpg, but I can't just do that because it doesn't know where it is. It's going to basically just be like, it's going to look, it's going to look uh, on my like this PC drive, it's going to look here and it's going to be like you don't have, you, you don't have a heads file in there. So we need to give it a path. Now. If you look back in the index file, we had a path uh, here, underscore underscore dir name slash commands. So basically what we're doing is we're going to where we are right now, so index, and we're going to go into the commands folder, and that's going to work regardless of the computer. So we're going to use the same method here, we're going to go um, before the string, we're going to say underscore underscore, there we go, directory name. So that's going to put the string to the point where it's... Um, it's going to be like the F drive, then into the folder, blah, blah. That's going to be dynamic. That's good. This variable is different depending on, well, where your directory is, which means it's going to work if you do it on a different machine. And we also need to, after we've got to here, we need to go into the pictures folder. So we need to go slash, and slash means go into uh, 
coin picks slash, we go into the heads.jpg folder. As that. Now, what we want to do is we want to basically copy from the comma to there. We want to put it in here, and we want to change heads to tails. Now, if we run this and go to our bot, I was just messing with the coin thing earlier. Um, if we do uh, flip, we get tails, and it shows tails, and we get heads, heads, tails, and so on. So it's sending the message and the image, and that's basically, that's it, to be honest. If you wanted to send just the thing, you would cut out this, and you would just have inside the squiggly brackets, files, and this is the file, this is the path in here. And you could console.log this if you wanted to read what the file path is, but the best thing about this is, so long as your files here are set up the same, then no matter what computer you're on, this will work. Because the underscore directory name will be the same. Just remember, direct dir name here is two underscores before it, not one, it's two underscores. Okay, also a lot of people on my videos that watch them and comment having problems, Every, like 90% of the problems I see are people just doing typos. They say that they have watched the video properly and they've done everything the exact same and it's not working. But I look at the screenshot of their code and I see instantly they just typed something in wrong. So first of all, if you get a problem, make sure you have typed stuff correctly because spelling matters. The next thing to check is check your uh, console down here. If you get error messages, the error message is there to let you know what's wrong so that you can fix it. There's never a problem. If you if you look at the error message, you need to try and understand what it is. Because if I ever get any problems, I read the error message, find what line the problem's happening on and why, and then figure out from there. I don't go around like asking... Now, obviously, sometimes you do get problems that you don't understand, but you shouldn't be going around asking every single problem you get, because you're not going to learn anything. You need to try and figure it out yourself. If it is something that you've been on for hours and it's really difficult, then I understand asking, but in the long run, you should... No matter how long it takes... Well, don't spend too long, but you should really try and figure out yourself by using the error messages because they are the most helpful way to figure out your problems. But anyway, apart from that aside, let's go on to the other one. So we now want to go down to the dice roll. So by default now, if we run it, it would pick a number between one and six because it does math.random, which is a value between zero and one. Now let's see if I open calculator, doesn't want to work okay whatever um, so this will pick a value between 0 and 1 so let's just say it picks um, let's just check can you type down here like this whoops 1 plus 10 yeah 11 it still works so if I picked a, a random between um, math dot random nah you can't just run them down here okay okay let, let's just think of a random number between 0 and 1 we'll go for like 0 0.245 whatever now we're gonna times this by 6. We get 1.47. We're going to floor it, which means round down, so we get to 1. Then we add 1, 2. So if I, if the random came out as this, 2, 4, 5, we would get the answer of 2, because we had 1 at the end. The reason is because if I had like a 0 0.100 times 6, 0 0.6 there, that's going to be 0, it's going to round down to 0. On a die, you can't have zero. You can only have one to six. Now, if I took off this one, it would still be six different values that we could get. The only problem is it would be um, the values between zero and five. But we want the values between one and six. So the easiest way to fix that is just add one to our value and we'll get a random value between zero, um, sorry, one and six. But we want this to depend on what they put in. Now, luckily in this function, we have two parameters, message and args message refers to the actual message which was sent that caused this and args is anything that's after the command so if I do uh, console.log args let's have a look at this so if we run the bot I'm gonna ignore that for now uh, if we go to do roll you look how it printed a line of blank. That's because I didn't put any args. I did the command. I didn't do anything. If I do uh, roll hello, the thing is hello. Roll 100, or 1000, sorry. Then that's what we get. The benefit to this is we can use args as our value here. So if I do args, this will work. 
kinda, you'll notice there's some problems, which is what we have to build on. So, uh, if I run this now, whoops, I need to run it with no dot. Okay, if I do roll one, we're gonna get one. Roll one, a big number, <laughs> we get that big number. I don't know what the maximum is. Okay, it goes into powers, but yeah. Basically, this is gonna work for your numbers. What if I do roll a word? Your dice landed on nan. Now, nan means not a number. Not, eh, not, why can't I type, not a number. It's not nan, it's not nana, it's not a number. And that's a problem, you don't want it to say your dice landed on not a number. You wanna be able to, you know, avoid that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically say, We'll put this back to six. This is like the uh, the default one. We're gonna first of all say if args is equal to empty string. That's because when you don't type anything, if you just do the command, so if you just go roll blank, that, I mean obviously the bot's not online. <laughs> it's just a blank, it's empty. So we're gonna say if args is blank, then we're gonna say do this. We're also going to take out the var dice roll and we're going to say here, let dice roll. Basically, we're going to declare the variable here because we're going to use it in other places. It's best to declare it first. Um, so if, if there's nothing, then we're going to do this. Otherwise, whatever, nothing happens. So let's try that. So if we do roll, we get that. Roll, roll. You notice how white space doesn't matter. If I do roll a number, doesn't work. Roll anything else, a word, doesn't work. That's what we want to happen. So basically, if we just do the command on its own, we want it to do a default roll, that's fine. We want to say else if, we want to do a ne next check. We'll want to say um, if args, well, so we'll do an else, so we'll say else. So if, it, if we have put something in, then we're going to say this, but instead of six, we're gonna do args, simply. So we're gonna say, you know, roll. We get five, roll, two, six. So again, values on a six-sided dice. If I now do roll 1,000, 10,000, we get that value. So what it's doing now is we've got a default if we don't put anything, and our value if we put something in. But you remember, if we put a word in, it's gonna do not a number. If we do put a word in, how's it gonna work? We're gonna say, we declare this as a just a variable ready to be used. We're gonna say, if args is blank, but it isn't, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say, we want a random number times by args, but if args isn't a number, you can't multiply it. It's gonna become not a number, because you can't. if you multiply a number by a string, you get a mess. Basically, you get not a number. So we wanna then check, after we have actually got this value, we wanna say, if dice roll, sorry, um, is nan, so basically there's this function called is nan, which is a boolean, it turns true or false depending on if the number is, you know, not a number or not. So if dice roll is not a number, if it's not a number, we want to um, do this. Here, um, take, yeah, we want to do this again. So if it ends up not being a number, we'll just do it a default roll, basically. We're going to do a default, and we're going to say, um, well, your dice line on that. We could also just quickly say um, message dot reply um, args plus string is not a number. Just to let them know that it's not a number and we've given them a default role. And then obviously down here we basically say, well, this is saying if it is not a number. So we'll say else. So this is obviously what happens. Um, if it is a normal number, we'll just use it. Okay, I hope that made sense. It seems pretty simple. I'll go over it again in a minute once we've tested that it works, but I'm pretty confident it should work. So, roll on its own, one. That's not a command because I've misspelled it. Five, 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 two. It works, okay? Roll, big number. That works. Roll, another awkward big number. What about if we roll a word, hello? Hello is not a number, your dice line on four. So it just does a default roll, you know, roll mess. It's not a number, your dice line on one. You know, that seems pretty simple. 
But anyway, there's not much else to talk in this video, to be honest. I've done those two requests with people. I think it's gone pretty well. I'll quickly run over this code before I end the video. So we've taken the message, but we don't really care. We're just replying to it. But the message is just all the information about the message that was sent, which is, in this case, the whole thing. Args is just the string of things afterwards. So anything after roll here, basically, is um, the args. I don't think it includes the the space between, but it might. I'm pretty sure it's just that. Um, so that's args. We're going to say, you know, if args is blank, then if they don't put anything in, we'll do a default roll. If it's not blank, so if they put something there, we're going to try and multiply it like by the random thing. And obviously, if it's not a number, then we'll just give them a default roll and tell them it's wrong. And if it is a number, so if it's if it's fine, we're just going to reply with that. Okay, simples, simples. But anyway, yeah, so as I've said, I'm going to be away for the next five days. I hope this video, you know, I hope people are okay with me. Uh, I'm trying to try and do daily videos, but I can't exactly do that when I'm not at home. It's kind of impossible. So, yeah, um, I'll get back to the daily routine when I get back on Friday. But I hope this video is enough to keep you going for the next week. Um, sorry about that, but, you know. Anyway. Uh, if you like these videos, then obviously feel free to like and subscribe, leave comments asking what you want to see more of, um, but apart from that, there's not much more I'll say, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.